What if I told you that in 2018, a federal prosecutor in Delaware was already investigating Hunter Biden's alleged financial crimes, ones that became much more in the public sphere with the release of the Hunter Biden laptop. Remember that story that was suppressed by social media? That the feds had been investigating Hunter Biden since 2018. What if I told you that before the Hunter Biden laptop story broke, where it was allowed to break, of course, that the federal prosecutor in charge of the case, a Trump appointee even, had the opportunity to pursue grand jury subpoenas and blow the lid off the investigation and really bring to the public attention what was going on behind the scenes with Hunter Biden and possibly with his father's intermingling of political power and finances. And what if I told you the establishment, that the establishment told this prosecutor to hold off on doing that until after the election, and then of course that they did. You know what the worst part about all that is? All of it's true. I'll show you in just a second. All of that is true facts. That's what happened. But the worst part is you guys probably either said, I already know, or it figures. It shouldn't figure when we have corruption leading to uh, the suppression of information that happened during 2020. The most ridiculous suppression of negative information about a political candidate uh, that I, I can remember coming in favor of Joe Biden from a concerted effort on multiple levels of government and multiple levels of media all to get Trump out of office because, man, did the establishment not like Trump. But they wouldn't want to compromise the investigation by letting America know that the son of one of the candidates was involved in a political pay-for-play scheme that most likely involves his own father, the actual political candidate for president, in a deep corruption scandal with ties to foreign powers like Ukraine. The stuff they actually were falsely accusing Trump of was going on. And there were investigations going into it, leading to grand jury subpoenas that could have been released during the election cycle. But the establishment wanted them to wait. Let's take a look at what I'm talking about. This is out of Politico. And it's, it's another one of these bombshell stories that's just... It's going to float off into the ether as passe now because this story belonged 11 months ago. This is when it should have come out, right smack in the middle of the 2020 election, right when the American people were deciding if their next president would be, uh, would be Joe Biden or President Trump or somebody else. We have no idea how this would have impacted anything because we weren't allowed to know. I'm Nick Ricada of Ricada Law, a small law firm in central Minnesota. I'm a lawyer. I'm also a legal and political commentator on YouTube and on Odyssey. Wherever you're watching, hit like, hit subscribe, turn on your notifications, and for the love of God, don't miss any videos. All right, here we go. This is Hunter Biden's prosecutor rejected moves that would have revealed probe earlier. What an innocuous title this is. What... <laughs> Look, my my title on this is going to be like clickbaity corruption, but it's not clickbait. It's actually real. This is this is the suppression of information about a candidate for the president of the United States. The American people had an, a right to know this stuff was going on. They had a right to assess if they wanted their president to be embroiled in these pay-for-play political schemes with his shady son. And yet all of that was literally held back because of a concerted effort by media and government establishment to suppress any negative narratives about Biden and boost negative narratives about Trump. It's in this video that I'm pointing at I'm doing this so I can find it when I edit later. Right here, it's called The Fix is In, or how the, how the Left Fixed the 2020 Election. It's right there. You should watch it. It's a good video, and it's a horror story. I'm sure most of you watching this have already seen it. But 
That being said, let's take a look at this article. Veteran U.S. Attorney David Weiss, known for his willingness to take on powerful Delaware figures, brackets, decided not to in this instance, kept his investigation into Biden's son out of the 2020 campaign. The Hunter probe, uh, which is focused on possible tax law violations, has also examined the president's son's business dealings with foreign interests, a topic that has animated Biden detractors. Why? Oh, I don't know. It's really because of the implication that his father was politically profiting from foreign agents through the use of his power as vice president uh, during all of this, that he was he was influencing foreign internet uh, foreign affairs for the benefit of his son's job and his income, which allegedly, and as more and more of these emails come out, seem to implicate Biden in politically or financially benefiting as well. But who cares, right? Look, he's your president now. Just if let's do a segment called if this were Trump, <laughs> if the name were Trump, this story would be so much different. Everybody would be so enraged. This prosecutor would probably be swinging from a tree right now uh, for failing to bring this out. And you can guarantee, because we saw it, that there would be no suppression of any federal investigations of Donald Trump. Those things would be laid out in full. Because the the Democrats in office were trying to get investigations of Donald Trump since before he won in 2016 and all the way through 2020. Every single moment of his of his presidency from campaign beginning to end. Was plagued by Democrats with allegations and implications, but nothing ever coming to fruition except for uh, a a questionable. And this only came out now, but a questionable charge, obviously politically motivated regarding the payroll of the Trump organization, not Donald Trump himself. And that ended up being a complete limp-wristed prosecution, as we've seen so far. This is not the big bombshell that they were promising. And by, let's just remember that the investigation into the Trump organization and Donald Trump himself has been going on since 2018, the same time this Hunter Biden one. How much suppression happened there for the purpose of the purity of the of the race of uh, uh, for the presidency? How much how much suppression of the news and delaying of subpoenas happened in those cases? That's right. None of it. None of it. But I'm sure glad the integrity of the Hunter Biden prosecution was maintained. Last summer, federal officials in Delaware investigating Hunter Biden faced a dilemma. The probe had reached a point where prosecutors could have sought search warrants and issued a flurry of grand jury subpoenas. Some officials involved in the case wanted to do just that. Others urged caution. They advised Delaware U.S. Attorney David Weiss to avoid taking any actions that could alert the public to the existence of the case in the middle of a presidential election. Again, remembering that no such def def uh, deferment uh, or deferential treatment was afforded to President Trump. No, no, no. This was part of it. This was all the part of getting Trump out. It was the goal from the get go. There was no, there was no, in the, as far as the media is concerned, there was no presidential election. There was merely an anointment of Joe Biden and a cast off of Trump. That's all they wanted, and that's what they got. To his credit, he listened, said a person involved in the discussions reporting here for the first time. Weiss decided to wait, averting the possibility that the investigation would become a months-long campaign issue. It should be a months-long campaign issue, though. It should be. This implicates, potentially, the President of the United States leveraging his position as Vice President to influence foreign affairs, specifically for his benefit of himself and his family. Those are serious allegations, and we know they're serious allegations because the media told us they were serious allegations the entire time they were saying Trump was doing just this without evidence of it actually happening, aside from the Steele dossier, which was a complete partisan hack job paid for by the Clintons. This isn't a surprise. This isn't news. I know you guys know it, but it's just mind-blowing that they're so confident now. They're just laying this all out. It's all out in public. They don't need to hide anymore.
they've they've won. Since taking office, President Joe Biden has left Weiss, a Republican appointed by Donald Trump on the recommendation of Delaware's two Democratic senators in place. That puts him in one of the most sensitive, by the way, hey, Trump. How'd that go listening to the two senators from Delaware? How'd that work out for you? Uh, Deciding how to proceed with an investigation of the president's son that has proven politically fraught on several fronts. Politically fraught because it implicates the president of the United States in a pay-for-play scheme with Ukraine. I mean, just that, though. Just that. The probe, which is focused on possible tax law violations, has also examined Hunter Biden's business dealings with foreign interests, a topic that has animated Biden detractors. A gee, I wonder why. And its existence first came to light amid a controversy about the leak of Hunter Biden's laptop files. But again, the leak of those files came in 2022 or 2020 was suppressed by the media entirely. People were banned from Twitter for merely mentioning it. And yet this investigation has been going on since 2018. It's not like it was, it's not like it was new. They didn't, the investigation wasn't relying on the Biden laptop. The investigation existed two years before anybody heard of the Biden laptop. Here we go. Let's take a look at Weiss. Early in his career, he served as special prosecutor during a federal crackdown of bribery and extortion amongst Delaware politicians. Uh, A decade ago, he even investigated Biden's presidential campaign fundraising, enlisting a beer distributor to wear a wire for the FBI and record conversations with Biden's associates. Notice, though, he didn't ever go after Biden. Now the record may hold clues to Weiss's approach as he weighs whether to seek charges against a president's son who has intermingled his business dealings with the Biden family's political connections. This is way down in the article, by the way. This lead is, is so buried. And yet... Here it is. Here it is. He's now he's now having to weigh out how he's going to do it. And and the problem is, I know what all of you are thinking. I know it's going to be in the comments. Nothing's going to happen. It was a political shield job and it'll remain a political shield job. Is Hunter going to be prosecuted? Should Hunter be prosecuted? Don't know. Don't know. Wouldn't it be great if there was uh, some public input on any of this? Like if. If uh, if the public were aware that the president's son was potentially involved in this and again, potentially making payouts of the request of the president based on this stuff, Weiss's decision to avoid revealing that investigation in a highly charged political atmosphere move that might have boosted Donald Trump's campaign. Oh, you think you think maybe maybe that factored into it? Oh, I don't know. Geez, Uh, was consistent or even at the cost of politicizing the probe. I didn't think we cared about that anymore. Again, they politicized the probes of Donald Trump and they used it to secure the presidency for Joe Biden, they being the media. The media absolutely did this. Establishment, Republicans and Democrats absolutely did this. Again, it's all in a new, in the uh, Time Magazine piece. This is not new. This is not a conspiracy theory. It's just fact. It's just fact. By late 2018, Weiss's office was investigating Hunter Biden's activities in response to a number of leads, including some related to his dealings with Chinese business associates. (laughs) While investigators pursued suspicions of possible money laundering and violations of the Foreign Agents Registration Act, criminal investigation eventually came to focus on whether he had paid taxes on all of his income. So you already know they're softening the investigation. According to a person familiar with it, Hunter Biden has maintained that he acted appropriately. Well, yeah. And maybe he did. We don't know. We don't know. But we know we know a lot about what Trump was alleged to have done that he didn't do. Why don't we get to find out about what Biden has been involved in that he maybe didn't do during the presidential campaign when it mattered, when America was was teetering on the edge and when that information That information, by the way, there are surveys out there that suggest that knowledge of the Hunter Biden laptop in mainstream media would have swayed the presidential election in Trump's favor. It was a razor thin margin uh, in several in in four states, I think actually in six states, but any four of them would have been uh, would have swung the election. It was a matter of less than 100,000 votes or less than 200,000 votes total. 
across the entire country? Would those, would those people, would people in those jurisdictions have been swayed by the laptop story? Surveys say maybe they would have. Maybe they would have. Now supplement the laptop story with the fact that a federal investigation had been going on since 2018. They were now issuing grand jury subpoenas and search warrants on Hunter Biden. And you can almost guarantee we would have Trump as president right now. It was a political hit job. This is corruption at some of the deepest levels. And the best part is the media. Politico was complicit in all this, by the way. It's their article. So is Time Magazine. They were complicit in it too. All of them were complicit in it. And they're now confident enough to just put it out there because they think there's nothing we can do about it. 2022 and 2024 can't come fast enough. But hey, what do you guys think? Drop a comment down below. Tell me what, what you think about Hunter Biden and all this stuff in the, in the uh, comment section. And I will see you very soon. Hope you have a good day. Peace. Peace.